This is the first of three videos on alcoholic liver disease and is an introduction. Alcohol is broken down to toxic chemicals including acetaldehyde and these chemicals damage the liver. We will now discuss who is at risk of developing alcohol liver disease. Most important is the amount of alcohol consumed. As you can see from this table, the amount of alcohol that's considered as a safe limit for alcohol varies from country to country. In the United States, anything more than 210 grams for men and about 112 grams for women per week is considered to be excessive consumption of alcohol. In the United Kingdom, the threshold is put at a lower level of 112 grams per week. In Australia, it is also around the same at 100 grams. In Canada, it's higher at 207 grams for male and 138 grams per week for females. The amount of what is considered to be excessive alcohol consumption varies from country to country. But if you look at what is considered per day, how many grams of alcohol, then it's roughly around about 40 to 50 grams of alcohol per day. Anything more than that is considered to be excessive. That in some countries, the safe level for women is less than that for men and is around about half the level for men because alcohol is generally more toxic to women. We must also understand that the above figures should be read in the context that in some countries the definition of safe drinking and excessive alcohol consumption might vary. What is important is the total amount of alcohol consumed. However, it is important to understand the alcohol content of the different types of drinks. Knowing the alcohol content of drinks plus the volume one has drunk will give an approximate figure of the total amount of alcohol consumed. Different kinds of alcoholic drinks have different content of alcohol. For example, beer has got 5% alcohol. 5% means 5 grams of alcohol in 100 ml of beer. So one can of beer, if it is 325 ml, will have 16 grams of alcohol. A 750 ml bottle of wine at 12.5% of alcohol will have 94 grams of alcohol. One measure of a spirit like vodka or whiskey or gin will have a volume of 35 ml at 40% alcohol, the alcohol content is 14 grams. Champagne, one glass is about 150 ml. At 15% alcohol content, it will be 22.5 grams. So it's important to know the average alcohol content in drinks to have an idea how much one is consuming. Amount of alcohol consumed is probably the most important predictor of developing alcoholic liver disease. Although alcohol consumption is necessary to develop alcoholic liver disease, not all patients who consume alcohol excessively develop it. It is estimated that only up to one in three develop alcoholic hepatitis and one in five cirrhosis. There are additional factors that increase the risk of alcoholic liver disease and include the following. Number of years of heavy drinking is another factor. Alcoholic liver disease usually occurs after years of heavy drinking. Some people develop cirrhosis after 5 to 10 years, while in others it occurs after 20 to 30 years. Another important factor is the pattern of drinking. 
there are two patterns of heavy alcohol consumption. One is called binge drinking. The other, daily heavy drinking. A standard drink is 14 grams of alcohol. Let's discuss this quantity according to standard drinks. For men, it is drinking five or more standard drinks within two hours. And for women, it is drinking four or more standard drinks within two hours. Another pattern of drinking is daily heavy drinking. A general predictor of more severe cases of disease is an intake of 40 to 80 grams of alcohol per day by males and 20 to 40 grams of alcohol by females for 10 to 12 years. It appears that both binge drinking and daily drinking are equally bad for the liver. Other factors are age. Older patients are more vulnerable compared to younger people. Drinking outside meal times is bad, as in the absence of food in the stomach, there is a rapid absorption of alcohol into the bloodstream. Rapid absorption results in spikes of blood alcohol, which overwhelms the ability of the liver to detoxify the alcohol. Genetics also plays a role. Alcoholism and alcoholic liver disease runs in families and genes are believed to play a role. The risk is also increased if the patient has viral chronic hepatitis B or C. Women are at an increased risk because they break down alcohol more slowly than men. Overweight or being obese is another risk factor. There are three stages of alcoholic liver disease. The first stage is fatty liver. The second stage is alcoholic hepatitis. The third stage is cirrhosis of the liver.